All right, um, so we got another Tom Segura clip. What up, D? <laughs> yeah, man, funny dude, funny dude. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And this is from his uh, stand-up special, uh, This yeah. Is Not Happening. Okay. Um, okay. The clip is called Meeting Bruce Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> of course we know Bruce Bruce yeah, is man. another comic. Yeah, great comedian. Great Very comedian. funny. Yeah, funny dude. Um, Gotta do stuff. Uh, Bruce Bruce? Bruce? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, gotta yeah, find some shit on Bruce Bruce. I guarantee you, everything he, he probably does is hilarious. <laughs> everything. I remember him from uh, Comic View. Oh, yeah, <laughs> man. I remember Comic View on BET late nights seeing yeah, Bruce man. Bruce, bro. Yeah, man. Classic. They need to bring that, they need to bring that back. Comic like, View? Yeah, they got, yeah. I think they still got Comic they View. Got they comic still view. got Comic View. Yeah, they got Comic View. I think, I think like at least like a couple years ago they had yeah, Comic yeah, View. Yeah, that's what I know. They really redid did. it, of course. It's not yeah, like the yeah, original yeah, Comic yeah, View. Exactly, but the original comic view was the best, bro. I, it yeah, was the best. They, need it. they need to put these dudes on display. Yeah, they need to. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is uh, Tom Segura meeting Bruce Bruce. Let's go. It's how I imagine they contain serial nipples. killers feeling <laughs> each other the first time. They're like, okay, you know, you do it differently than on the way I do it, but I totally <laughs> respect. They the contain the nipples. <laughs> Ah, uh, what did you flash Burr? Burr, Burr had no shirt on all the time. May contain nipples. <laughs> what is this? You get chased by wolves? Anytime. <laughs> oh, shit, my pants about being chased by a pack of wolves like that. Jeez. Welcome to this not happening, everybody. Thank you. So here's the show. It's just a bunch of funny people who are all telling true stories. Please give it up for a very good friend of mine, Mr. Tom Segura, everybody. All right. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but comedians' lives are lonely. It's a lonely existence. I mean, you're in airports and hotels and cities with strangers every week. It gets lonely. Like it really does. Like you can only you can only masturbate. Like so many times before you're like, I gotta get something to eat, you know? <laughs> One of those things. You gotta find something to boost you up. You know what's the biggest boost, the biggest spark when you're on the road is actually running into another comedian. It's the best. I can't even describe it to you. It's the one thing that you're like, yes. If it's a comedian you already know, it's like a reunion. If it's a comedian you've never met, there's so much excitement at the potential. You're like, oh, is he gonna be weird? Is he gonna be hilarious? Is it gonna be hilarious how weird he is? <laughs> but there's so much there. You know, it's how I imagine the serial killers feel when they meet each other the first time. They're like, you know, you do it differently than on the way I do it, but I totally respect your commitment to the craft. Like, you keep their toes in jars. That's nuts. That's awesome. So, I'm at the airport and I'm waiting to board a flight. And who do I see at the gate boarding the same flight? The comedian, Bruce Bruce. Now, if you don't know who Bruce Bruce is, super successful comic, he's had TV shows, he sells out clubs and theaters everywhere. He's awesome. I've never met him. I see him at the gate, I'm like, I'm gonna go talk to Bruce Bruce. And then I go, no you're not, Bruce Bruce doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> so I don't say anything. Then we board the flight, and I get upgraded. Whoa, uh, whoa! Upgraded. <laughs> And now, who is sitting directly across the aisle from me? Bruce Bruce. Now I can't help myself. Now I have to say something. So I introduce myself to Bruce Bruce. Now, for this to really make sense to you, if you don't know who he is, I have to paint a picture, okay? Bruce Bruce is black, he has dreads, and he's a big boy, all right? Like, when you say your name twice, there's a lot of it. Bruce, 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 Bruce is like four bills, okay? So, <laughs> he is. I might he not have like Tom if I gain another 100 pounds. So, <laughs> I'm sitting across the aisle from Bruce Bruce, and I introduce myself, and he could not be nicer. Just to give you an idea of his status, we're at the gate on this plane, and the, the flight attendant announces that we're stuck at the gate. 
And she said, you can get off if you want to, just take your boarding pass with you, and then you can get back on. So as I'm talking to him and they say that, I go, I'm not getting off. And he goes, I'm not getting off. And then a woman, a passenger from the back of the plane walks up and she leans down to him and she goes, I'm getting off, is there anything you want or need? And he goes, I would love some candy. <laughs> and she goes, candy? And he goes, Twix, Skittles, shit like that. <laughs> gets off the plane, uh, and I go, who is that? And he goes, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, are strangers just buying you candy? <laughs> and he goes, get it. Like, that's Bruce's status, okay? So we keep talking, we start talking about gigs that we've done, and we start talking about comedians and who's funny, who are the funniest comics ever. And we start literally listing comedians through time. Like we start with like Lenny Bruce, Dick Gregory, we talk about George Carlin and Richard Pryor, all the way through Eddie Murphy and then to today, you know, mm -hmm. Kevin Hart and Dave Attell. And then Bruce Bruce says, that's all good. But do you know who the funniest cat of all time is? Now I think it's a setup. I think it's gonna be like, it's me, bitch. That was like, like, it's like that, right? That's what I think it's gonna be. And I'm gonna let him have it. So I go, now nah, like, Who's the funniest cat of all time? And he goes, Andy Griffith. And I go, what? <laughs> and he goes, Andy Griffith. Yeah. And I go, are you talking about like that dude? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, you ever been to the Andy Griffith Museum before? And I go, what kind of question is that? No, of course not. Right? <laughs> is that real? And he goes, real? <laughs> they have the car that he used to sit in. You can sit in it too. And you can touch shit that he used to touch. <laughs> and he goes, Do you ever see episode 215 of the Andy Griffith show? <laughs> and I go, No, ass burgers. I didn't see episode 215. And he goes, That's my favorite episode. It originally aired March 13th, 1960. Oh my God. Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> Yeah. And he goes, nah, it was March 13th, 1967. <laughs> and then he ate Twix and he didn't talk to me for the rest of the flight. <laughs> but I am begging you, if you ever see Bruce Bruce anywhere, walking around, sitting down, at a show, anywhere, just go, hey man, Andy Griffith is the shit. And he'll be like, oh no, I'm a star, I'm And he'll lose his mind. That's it for me, you guys are the best. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> uh, 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 okay, okay. That's his first time meeting Bruce. Bruce. Who's Bruce? Um, <laughs> I don't know if that story was Bruce Bruce. Andy Griffiths uh, is his favorite uh, comedian yeah. of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce 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 was inspired by Andy Griffith <laughs> or Andy Griffith. Come on, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Big man. ass Bruce Bruce. Uh, that's ah, that's funny. That's crazy. If that story is true, that is a crazy <laughs> ass story, man. It is, man. It is. That is a crazy ass story. It is, man. Bruce Bruce. <laughs> Damn. He said, yell at him. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna know. <laughs> Damn, anybody uh, just a random man. ass person know Bruce Bruce. Yeah, man. I ain't know I ain't know Bruce Bruce was that famous. I know Bruce Bruce is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's famous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bruce Bruce is, you know what I'm saying? He's a very he's a very yeah, accomplished no, comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, but just for a random person to <laughs> offer buying candy. Like, damn. Oh man. man How on famous the way home, you on the way home from LA, I had somebody offer me candy. Oh, for real? Yeah, Skittles, my favorite candy, ironically. But I mean, it wasn't because they, it wasn't because they, they knew you. <laughs> they didn't know you. I know that, but I'm just saying. They offered me candy. So I can understand what I'm saying, people buy a kid. You know what I'm saying? I've been offered candy before. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm saying. Oh, but yeah, man. Yeah. Because he was famous, they offered him yeah. candy. Yeah. <laughs> ah, he said he wanted Twix. Did Twix? Skittles? <laughs> Another word to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Time for Bruce. 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 Yeah, we got him. We're gonna get to Bruce. He's got. I guarantee you, he's got yeah. some. The, I guarantee the older the older the better with Bruce Bruce. The older oh, we yeah. go with Bruce Bruce, the better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I guarantee if we we can find some like twenty year old gems on like Bruce Bruce. Yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah. He's been around that long. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Let us know. I know y'all find something. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Yeah. If y'all know any Bruce Bruce, please, please hit us up. We will definitely react to it. Thank you. Do it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And happy new year. <laughs>